The National University and Mall of Asia is among the schools given the green light by the government to resume limited face-to-face -face classes. To give us more details on this, we now have Laila Pangilina and she's reporting to us live from Pasay. Laila, good afternoon. Uh, let's start with how NU got this approval. What were the requirements? Yes, Charles, actually the National University here in the Mall of Asia uh, seek the approval of the Commission on Higher Education and they have retrofitted dental laboratories um, to fit actually the, requir the requirements of the new normal, Charles. Most of these are installations like exhaust fans, HEPA filters, and tempered glasses that serves as cubicles or separators. The rooms are air-conditioned, but windows will be open and a huge fan will aid in air circulation to ensure everybody's safety. These are aside from other health and safety protocols that are already in place, Charles. Right, so Lila, how many students will be allowed per classroom and uh, how many students altogether are we uh, talking about more or less? Right, Charles. Uh, Pre-pandemic, um, they are allowed 40 students per classroom or per laboratory. But now that we are in the new normal setup, only 10 students per laboratory is allowed so that uh, they can... Uh, walk around freely or uh, we can give uh, enough space for physical distancing, Charles. Also, professors and students will be required to wear PPEs while inside the laboratory. Now, talking about students and professors and requirements for them, are students and professors required to be vaccinated first and will testing also be mandatory? Mm-hmm. Right, Charles. So all professors of the National University uh, College of Dentistry have all been vaccinated, though they are not requiring um, students to be fully vaccinated. But then again, if the students do want to be vaccinated, they have a program for that. But those who are vaccine hesitant, though, uh, they, they could still attend class, but they will be separated from the fully vaccinated students, Charles. Right, so we're talking about limited face-to-face -face classes, Laila. How many school days will be allowed per week under this current setup? Mm -hmm. So actually, now that uh, the National University has been approved by CHED for their uh, limited laboratory face-to-face -face, uh, classes, four days will be allowed for the limited face-to-face -face classes. The, and then 10 days for online, they come back again uh, to the laboratory face-to-face -face after four days. But a reminder to all the students, before you head back to school, don't forget your negative RT-PCR results. That is a requirement on the first day of the actual limited laboratory face-to-face -face classes, Charles. All right, so when will these limited face-to-face -face classes finally kick off in NU? Yeah, so for, for dentistry, because they've already started with nursing and uh, med tech courses, for dentistry, the management says that within two weeks, they would be jump-starting or kicking off or um, going back to their limited laboratory face-to-face -face classes, Charles.